Hey guys, this is Chiago Master, back with more Pokemon White. Anyways, uh, as I said in the last episode, we're going to be doing team training. No, that does not mean training. Ah, uh, whatever. It means training my team, even though that was obvious enough. Starting off with these um, little pre preschoolers. And I was going to say this, this, this totally defies Poke logic because they, they're always talking about you can't get Pokemon until you're 10 years old. Well, I don't think these guys are totally 10 years old. I think they're like 5 or something. So, yeah, Poke logic. No more Poke logic. We just throw it out the window and do stuff how we like to do it. Little kids are cute, so we'll use them in our video games. Yeah. So anyway, this is the first time we see a cop in here. Yeah, I think it's the first time. So, that's all. Caught any. Weakling. Any of your weakling on a cookie? No. And also the first time we see Pet Lily. Yeah, let's put a Lily, Pub. <clears throat> Pretty stupid name, I find. I think the Japanese name might be better, but I totally forgot what it was. Anyways, Fury Slave with Pain now. See? That's the difference between Pain and, um, Monkey G. Pain can dish out a lot more damage with Fury Swipe, and he doesn't miss it most of the time. Ah, uh, Live Pain. No, not, the, not that kind of Live Pain. I bet when I said live pain, there's a person in another country or something that just got kicked in the got got kicked in the leg. Sorry, that person. Anyways, next preschooler, defy Poké logic. Go fuck yourself. Mm, preschooler Homer. Holy shit! Yes, my dream actually came true. Homer is inside a video game. Don't you guys love The Simpsons? I do. And Homer might probably be my favorite because he's the stupidest. And actually, no, I think it's Bart. Yeah. See what Pokemon does to us? It brings TV cultures together. Ah, long live Poke the Monster. Rogan Roller. Eh, yeah, Rogan Rollers could be good if you evolve them, I guess. Their evolution is pretty good. Anyways, uh, in the grass here, there's a Pokemon, there's also a Pokemon here, and you don't need to go into shaky grass. That will give you tons of experience, depending on what game you have. If it's black, it's gonna be Sock. Yeah, its name is Sock. And in white, it's Thor. I know that because oh shit, shaky grass. Hopefully I'll have Audino if I can show you guys. I will have a monkey. Yeah, Audino. How much HP does Pain have? Okay. Pain should very well level up. You get it. Pain should very well level up after this. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Anyways, I got it, and I got guests while I'm doing my walkthrough. Yeah, that's this is a very wrong moment for that. And boom, KO. Seven hundred and nine experience. You see what I'm talking about? That is power. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's that. Hello. Now, I'm just gonna heal again. Mm. 
I see blood purple. Really? Pidov. We already talked about Pidovs. You know, as I said, they're kind of strong. So, anyways, yeah, you should do that little trick there. And for shaky grass to show up, how I see it, the more you run, the more chances that you have, you know, like that. Uh, on a bike, it's even better. More chances that you have of shaky grass. That's how I see it, though. And as you can see, that thing gives a load of experience. So, um, if you need some training, there's the, there's a awesome Pokemon to give you it. Or, if you don't, if Shaky Grass doesn't come up, then just use Thor or Sock to get your experience. It's, it, it, whatever. Anyway, Tim Pole again. Whoops. Here it's right. I'm taking kind of a risk taking your pain out, you know, to defeat the Tim Pole, but I already know this from pure experience. Pain can take a bubble beam from these guys, and bubble beam from a Tim Pole is pretty powerful, so yeah. Mm. One final Tim Pole. Now, Fury. Ugh. Cool, at least it missed too. Okay. Bubble Beam. See? It can resist it. And you still missed again. Damn you, Pain. Now we throw kick your ass. Anyway. More Fury swiping. See? Weird, under pressure, they hit. I Columba. I'm going to switch to Tepic. Yeah. And if it dies, oh, shit, resisted. Okay. Tip it might not be as useless as I thought. I'm still not using it on my team. Uh. Oh, I got confused. By the power of confusion, I command you to die. Sorry, Tepig. At least you resisted a bit to a water type. You should be proud of that. What did I use? Damn it. Ah, uh, still KO'd, so it doesn't matter. Anyways. Oh, shaky grass again. Never mess up a chance to KO an Arduino. If you do, sorry. You just missed the chance for a pure level up. Anyways, Monkey G. Monkey So much on my dog, man. Rock smash. Mm. Eh. As you can see, Monkey G does way less damage than Pain, because Pain is awesome and Monkey G is decent. But still, a very good Pokemon. That was a critical, I wasn't even paying attention. And Ardenos too are pretty weak, because they're actually meant for healing. They're like, um, they're like the Blissies of Univer. Yeah. They're like the Chansey, Blissey, and all that of Univer. They're not good on battling, but very good on healing. So, yeah. She has a fresh helping hand and all that stuff. Well, helping hand really isn't like a healing move, but, you know, to aid other other people. 
That's basically what it's what it's here for. Anyways. No, I'm not gonna bother just trying to stop myself by saying anyways. Just checking if it has anything else down here. Nope. Okay then come back. Battle me, you fool. Caught a special Pokemon. Let me guess. Is it Tim Pool that that special Pokemon? No, it was Venipede. Whoops. That was really off target right there. Anyway, the first time we see Venipede, poison bug type. So this really isn't the place for um um Monkey G. Damn, two critical hits in a row. Monkey G must be terrified of this thing. Only if you can get that most of the time. Nope. And roll out. Everybody knows the deal with roll out. It becomes more powerful the more you use it. Miss once and uh, it stops using roll out. And at the same time, it's even more powerful if you use defense curl before using it. Yeah, I just gave you the down low on roll out. In case you didn't know. Anyways. Rock smash. There we go. One hit. Oh, two hit KO on a lily pup. It will be seeing a lot of lily pups. For the next gym. Because we're so close to the next gym. I'm going to give a spoiler of what kind of gym it is. It is. A normal type gym. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. It's a normal type gym. Here we have Timbers. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna capture this. You'll see why. Hold on. No, I'm not gonna use this for my team. I'm capturing it for a different reason. This is bad. Well, it doesn't really matter if it kills me with bite because, like, it's like a nurse a little bit closer to here, so it doesn't really matter. Two pig has already died, so yeah. Let's kill. No, put track HM. Oh, I named it HM4. Look at that. <clears throat> Use. No, just go for the great ball. Why is it named great ball? It's not, it's not that great. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Bag. Great ball use. Piece of shit. Holy crap. That was not nice. On the behalf of this son of a bitch that doesn't want to die. Okay, okay. Great ball. No, heal ball time. Damn it. It's leaving me the chance to live. But I can't capture the Damn bastard. Yes. Oof, I'm ending the heal ball, so um that's all for this video. The yeah. That's all for this video. The rest of my training I'll be doing it off screen. Cause there's not that much ah, I'll just Yeah, I'll be doing it off screen. Peace out.